Taurus, welcome to my channel. Uh, so today we're going to read him for the couples. So anybody that's in sort of a union, whether good, bad or indifferent, um, you know, this could be for you. It's not going to resonate for every Taurus out there, so do check out your replacements, Moon, Rising, Venus, uh, any stellium you might have, uh, Descendant, anything like that. If the title speaks, probably for you. Thank you for the likes, shares and subscribes. It uh, helps circulate the videos and increase the numbers, which is the main aim. So if you want to keep watching me doing these things, I need those numbers up, people. So I'm much appreciated. Okay, right. Private readings are available. Description box holds all the details. And I think that's about it for my jibber jabber. Yeah. Well, let's get crack. Oh, no, in. Sorry. So we're going to take uh, an energy between you. We're going to take your feelings, their feelings, a blockage, uh, advice and an outcome, and then we'll clarify those. All right, now it's done. Now my spiel's done. Right, more. Okay, current energy between you. King of Swords. Ooh. Communication. Kind of feel like harsh communication, maybe. What's your feelings? The Hermit. Yep. If, <laughs> I'm just picturing somebody storming off here um, after some harsh words were said. What's their feelings? Seven of Cups. They don't know what they've done wrong. <laughs> They're in their head. They don't know. They have no clue what they've done wrong, Taurus. I literally, I'm just picturing someone that's all these thoughts. Was it this? Was it that? Was it this? Was it this that I said? They have no clue. What's your blockage? Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, it could be something to do with a family. Ah, have you fallen out with a family member or one of their family members? What's your advice? Strength. Leo energy. Got Leo and Virgo on the board at the moment. I kind of feel like this is the advice is to swallow your pride. Okay, so you might end up sort of apologising here for something. What's the outcome? Death, Scorpio energy, um, transformation, change. Ah, uh, right. With the sun rising here, and the, uh, this is what's standing out for me in the card, um, it's kind of telling me. Don't go to bed on the argument. You know, it needs clearing before the sun rises. That type of um, that type of thing. You know, is there a saying something like that? Never, never go to bed on an argument. Um, I think that's already happened, but I kind of feel like this is what needs to change. Okay, bottom of the deck, nine of wands. <laughs> you put your barriers up. Four of swords. There's no talking. Uh, with justice, uh, Libra energy, and the chariot. Uh, so I kind of feel like you think you're right, and you want to win at all costs here. Um, I kind of feel like y your person thinks they're right as well. So however it resonates there. Um, but yeah, you're, you're being very stubborn here. Taurus, Taurus energy into stubborn. Um, you know. It's a trait to Taurus. I've got Taurus in my chart, so I'm, you know I'm not getting at you here. Um, it's just one of those um, one of those traits that we're uh, renowned for. Okay, so yeah, I kind of feel like you just need to not. I, th I think that's the whole message of, the, of of this of this read. Don't you know? Don't go to bed on an argument. Discuss it. Otherwise, you just. Build up and build up and build up until everything just explodes. In the King of Swords. <laughs> Let's get some clarifiers, see if we can uh, delve in a bit deeper. See what this argument was about. Right. 
what was this argument? What's this king of swords about? The sun. Okay, where to go on holiday, possibly. Wow. That's the first thing that jumped in my head. Arguing over where to go on holiday. Could be worse things, couldn't it? Let's see, Let's see what's happening. How you're feeling? The hermit with the king of wands. Yeah, yeah. I kind of feel like you've stormed off because you think you're right. Uh, you know, the, the king of wands is, is com confident, bordering arrogant. Again, I'm not getting at you. Uh, and it just can cross. Um, but I kind of feel like you're in a huff here. Seven of cups, their feelings of the queen of pentacles. They just want to, they just want to keep the peace, essentially. Um, so I, th I feel like you're going to get your own way, but I feel, you know, will you feel good about it afterwards? Ten of Pentacles with a page of wands. Yeah, um, for some of you, I kind of feel like it's... Oh, right, yeah. Um, okay, one of you wants to go on a big family holiday with their your person's parents, and you really don't want to. Or like a big family gathering where there's going to be children, and I don't think you want to do that. I kind of feel like you want to sit in the sun, essentially. Advice, strength with the devil. Could be dealing with a, a Capricorn. Um as advice we're saying as advice here oh yeah literally saying swallow your pride because it's a toxic trait interesting For somebody out there uh, yeah toxic trait so swallow your pride um, be more flexible essentially death outcome with the lovers you know you got to transform this to uh, keep the peace nine of wands bottom of the deck so again both of them nine of wands you know this barriers this um, wanting your own way to a certain degree I do apologize um, yeah I kind of see you going in with an offer to try and compromise and bring balance to this. So I think, yeah, the main thing of this reading is comp compromising for the sake of your partnership. It might not necessarily be a holiday, it might be some, but I feel it's something to do with your person's family. Um, I kind of feel they just want to include everybody. So I kind of see the Seven of Cups here as being that as well. Try and include everybody. Uh, but it's something that I think you you just not wanting. You just want to um, get your own way. Again, energies come across, so you know, don't shoot me. Okay, swallow that pride, and um, you know, it's it, basically it's saying this kind of a little bit selfish. I feel, but this selfish behaviour is not a good trait. So you need to uh, to work on that for the sake of your relationship. You know, this this argument about a holiday, if it is a holiday, although it is really tiny, but it's but it's a trait where you get in your own way, which could end the relationship if you don't sort it out. I'm not saying that this one argument is going to end it, but it, it's one small thing of, you know, if, if you're always trying, if you're always being a bit selfish, it, it will eventually lead to somebody just saying, you know what, well, it's not worth it. So just be careful there. You know, stop trying to get your own way, standing your ground. Because oh yeah, literally I'm feeling that now. So they're, they're on both decks. So I feel one's you and one's them. This is you standing your ground, wanting your own way, and this is them getting tired of that. So for somebody out there, again, like I say, uh, energies can cross. It could be a person that's doing this, but I'm reading for Taurus, so I'm going to say it's this way. Alright Taurus, uh, we've got Leo energy, we've got Virgo energy, we've got Capricorn energy, Scorpio energy, Gemini energy. We've got cups, we've got wands. 
we've got swords, we've got pentacles, everybody's here, but those are your standouts. Um, so yeah, um, you know, compromise. It's, compromise is it's, it's going to save your relationship. Okay. All right, thank you for the like, shares and subscribes, and, um, you know, if you want to delve in deeper, do, uh, do reach out. And uh, look after yourselves, and I'll uh, see you next time. Cheers, bye.